channel so by the title you figured what we're gonna do today we're gonna go and visit Van Gogh exhibition in Chicago that should be fun if you want to see my outfit of the day where should I put it my outfit of the day here it is it's pretty cool you know we are on time. So my exhibition thing, I bought the ticket at uh, 1 o'clock. I'm gonna be there at 12.50, so we are on track with stuff. Super exciting! It's not that far. I thought that the exhibition is going to be like 30,000 miles away. And I was already thinking that it's gonna take me like an hour and a half or so to, to go there. But then I looked up at the navigation and it was like, oh, 42 minutes, 40 minutes, 50 minutes, which in my case right now is 50. And on my Google Maps, it does show that it's like an orange. There's some sort of a little delays traffic but it's not that bad i have in mind to get starbucks the parking here sucks whenever you get to van gogh do your research beforehand i did go ahead and like look where it possibly could be like any parking it looked like it was so close but then when i actually pulled up i didn't even see like any signs of like any existence of parking so i had to park somewhere valet far away and now i'm walking and super super late oh guys and tell me congrats this is the first time i'm filming in public with my actual camera <laughs> The show itself is about 30 minutes long and then once it's done it just kind of plays over and over and over all day uh, but I don't know if it had to do with the VIP ticket or they tell this to everyone but basically whenever you walk in yes you do have the 30 minute ticket but they tell you that you can stay there for as long as you like so I ended up being there for four shows walked around everywhere explored from different angles <laughs> But yeah, this was very nice. Um, they also, I'm kind of sad that I'm not able to play the music that was in the exhibition because they really thought through what kind of music to play with what paintings. Um, you get into this meditative state with them and most of these exhibition songs now are stuck in my head and I don't know what to do with them. Whenever I was editing this video, I would listen to them, of course, because we're playing, and the next day they would be stuck in my head. You definitely have to go buy yourself tickets to the exhibition and check it out because the camera does not transform all the colors and all the emotions and feelings that you get whenever you go and visit so you definitely should check them out go on your own and i suggest you just kind of turn off your phone or just hide it away maybe in the first session or two record if you would like to that's what i did and then for the rest of the time just enjoy it be in it if that makes sense I will go ahead and put a link down where you can actually buy the tickets to go and see this exhibition. So yeah, just go down in the description, go to that link and then you can get the tickets. The artists who put it all together, this presentation, uh, this exhibition, they did a very nice job at the transitions from one painting to another. It's very smooth, there's no any sharp ending and beginning. It's like a story that just goes on and on, so they did a really nice job. This part right here is one of my most favorites out of this whole exhibition. The flowers and the transition from one painting of flowers to another to another. Just like, ah, <laughs> my favorite.
of this transition. Look how, and whenever you're in this room, it's huge and it's like so grand and you're like, wow. <laughs> Again, you'll have to be there to experience this. So go ahead, buy those tickets. It's worth it. Just do it. It's amazing. And if you're worried and you're like, Anastasia, I'm not in Chicago. How can I get there? Well, go on this link and it has a lot of different locations all across America. Don't worry. So this room in particular was one of my favorites because again you can see my favorite scene of this exhibition are flowers um, but also I was here for two sessions so for a whole hour um, for the first session I was kind of recording on my phone but then afterwards on the second session in this room I put my phone down and I was just enjoying the view it was amazing probably because it's a small room so you kind of felt like it was more intimate there's less people um, again highly recommend <laughs> video I did not include a lot of things just for the fact that I would like for you to visit and see something and be surprised by it be amazed without having any expectation to see it so um, I hope you enjoyed what I have for you here but know that there's much much more and again in person it is way cooler and just better to see live than through my vlog I mean pfft. Don't get me wrong, my vlog is pretty amazing, I know, I know, I know, but in life it will be much, much better. So I just got out from the exhibition and it was fun. I got to like relax and meditate, whatever. But now we're on our way back home. Now I have to find my car because I'm not exactly sure where I found where it is. Traffic angry people. I think I'm getting closer to my car. I'm not sure. I'm taking a wild guess, but I think I'm there. I'm getting there. Alright people, so now I'm on the way back home and it was good, I liked it. It was definitely something new for me rather than just chill at the house. <laughs> but I got the VIP ticket, which gave me like this fancy little thingy, um, as well as, I guess it's like a poster, a fancy poster, and the little thingies, uh, what are those called? Like little cedars that people get to sit on. You get, they give you a brand new one and you get to keep it. So that's kind of nice, that's kind of cool. Also, they do give you an option to, I guess it's for everyone though, um, there's this bar and for whatever reason I had an assumption that they give you like one drink, <laughs> but then uh, no, I still ended up paying for it. But yeah, it was a, it was a lot of fun. Um, I got a chance to sit there at different, different, sit there at different spots, relax, meditate in a certain way think about life also look at the different details so I ended up being there for four sessions so basically I would say like about two hours and 20 minutes altogether so yeah it was it was a lot of fun I, I really enjoyed it I think it would be cool to go with someone rather than going alone but at the same time there is a charm in going by yourself you really get to pay attention to everything that's going on in there rather than pay attention to the person that you're with, if that makes sense. So it was nice. I didn't get a chance to take any pictures, maybe a couple, I don't know. So yeah, now we're 
we are, me and my personalities, are going back home. I'm gonna just kind of edit this video, see what, what comes out of it. I, sh I took a lot of shots from phone and from the camera from different angles, like from the main room that I was at, then upstairs in the balcony, as well as, again, downstairs. But I hope that like the colors will be able to transfer from the actual presentation onto the footage. What I like from recording it from my phone is that I can like adjust the brightness as I record, so that was pretty nice. But from the camera, I'm not sure if it's gonna adjust the same way that, uh, as I did through my phone. So hopefully it will give you the same exact good quality of the video. There was also a gift shop. There's some that were pretty tempting, but to be honest, I didn't want to spend money. I already spent money on like the whole ticket and the drink. The drink, okay, drink wise, I thought that it would cost more, but at the same time, basically like the glass of Prosecco that I got, it was equivalent to one bottle of the same Prosecco. So, I don't know, but it's okay. Now I'm on the way back home. I will see you guys later. Uh, thank you so much for joining me on this little trip. Go ahead and subscribe, like the video, watch my other videos, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!